taking the steps towards sustainability. Black Hill State University is drastically working to reduce its environmental impact. We're trying really to reduce the carbon footprint on campus, get rid of a lot of the waste, make sure that plastics are actually being recycled, which is a big challenge it seems at this point in time. But we're just getting started. Brady Litch, a BHU sophomore, is with the Recycling Club on campus and emphasizes the hardest part is just getting the word out. Mainly focusing on making sure that people are actually recycling during sports events and whatnot. That's been a big problem right now is just getting the word out that the recycling bins are available. BHSU has two lead, leadership in energy and environmental design, certified buildings on campus. The first in the state. Have been really trying to become at the forefront and just to really try and get after things with um, being earth friendly, eco friendly, to be gold certified. You know, with our campus garden, we produce um, produce at, that we use in dining services. Taking the term go green to another level. The school has a wind turbine, bringing energy consumption down, resulting in less dollars students have to pay. We go trailers, so we don't have food waste, which is a wonderful thing. Um, and if we do, we do have, um, it's called a SOMAT, and it takes our food and it grinds it up and then it extracts the moisture from that. And then um, it becomes a, 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 like a, a powdery kind of consistency that can be used in um, compost. BHSU achieving a 9.7 reduction in greenhouse gas emissions per square foot of campus and increasing recycling to 35 tons, a feat considering the closest recycling facility is in Rapid City. Our last carbon footprint report showed that we emit more than about 13,000 metric ton equivalents of carbon dioxide. Um, and what that told us is that we've reduced over the past few years, even though we've grown as a university. The goal to reduce the carbon footprint to zero. And the first step is accounting for the carbon emitted by the university. The university is now awaiting the report to see how far they've come. Stephanie Kayser, News Center One.